Hello friends, welcome to the lecture on regional date settings. Dates can be written in various different formats. For example, the European date is day, month, year, American date is month, day, year, etc. By the end of this lecture, you will learn how to configure your Microsoft Excel settings with your preferred choice of date format. So let's start with the regional settings. Before we deep dive into what regional settings are and why they are there in the first place, let's first look at how a date can be written. On my screen, um, I have a date here. Let's say I want to write 5th April 2023. Now the 5th of April 2023 can be written in three different ways. It can be written as this one. It can be written as this as well, where the month comes before the date and then the year. And it can also be written as this one where the year comes before month and then the day. All of them are correct. However, it's very important that we decide which convention we want to follow in our Excel sheets. And we need to tell Excel about that convention. The reason why it's important is because if you're planning to write the date in this format, and Excel assumes that you're planning to write the dates in this format, then as you can imagine, it can lead to a lot of errors. You might be planning to write 5th of April 2023, Excel might assume that you're writing 4th of May 2023. Now, in order to bring ourselves on the same page as Excel, we first need to understand what convention is Excel following currently. Once we know what convention is Excel following, then we will be able to understand whether it's following the convention that, that we want it to follow or if it's something different. And in case if it's something different, then we will change it. In order to understand what Excel is following currently, uh, you can simply write a date formula. You can write a date formula and we will go into details of what date function or date formula is. Uh, but for now, you can just follow along. You can write the year. Then let's say you can write months. I'll put in February. And then let's write a big, um, Day number, let's say we will put in 25. So I'm planning to get a date for 25 Feb 25th February 2023. I'll press enter. So this means that my Excel is currently following the following convention. It's taking day, then it's taking month, and then it's taking year. That is the first option in, in this list. Let's just say I'm not happy with that. If I want to change it to a different convention, for example, I wanted to follow a month, day, and year convention, then I can do it by changing my regional settings. Now, what are regional settings? Re regional settings are basically your computer settings for interpreting the date time values. And Excel basically just picks up the settings that are there in your computer. So in case if you want to change from a, a day, month, year setting to month, day, year setting, you'll need to go and change it in your computer. So let's do that. So first of all, I will save this Excel file. It will be helpful later on because once we change the settings, we want to see 02252023 rather than 2523. So let's just save the file over here, pressing Control S. I will now close this Excel file. In order to change the regional settings, you'll first need to go to your Windows menu and click on Settings. So I'll go to Settings. When you'll open the settings menu, you will see an option for time and language. Now, of course, you might see a different screen depending upon which version of Windows you're using. Uh, it might look different. I believe uh, options available in the settings menu or in the settings op uh, options available in the settings menu will be more or less the same. You can click on the date and time. And then you can go towards the bottom where you will see an option for language and region. Then you will go to the regional format. And now it shows me that the current convention or a format for date that my computer is following is day, month, and year. If I want to change the format, I can click over here. And right now, as you can see, in order to interpret April 5th, 2017, my computer believe, writes the date as 5-4-2017. If I wanted to write it as 4-5-2017, four, 
I can go and select the right option over here, which is, I believe, this one, 4, 5, 20, 17, yeah. And with that, I will just save it. There's no option to save. I think we can just come, uh, come back and close it. Just check it once more over here. And here you go. As you can see, the date which it was previously appearing as 25 to 2023. Now it's appearing as 2-25-2023. Now, actually, I'm more used to seeing the dates in the format that was there before, which was day, month, and year. So I'll quickly go back and change my regional settings. However, whichever date you prefer or you feel comfortable with, you can set that up in your system, and then you can move on to the next lecture. In the next lecture, we will be learning about more date and time functions. It will be a lot of fun, and I'll see you there.